Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies coming to you again from the new bar. You still get used to it? Yes. I right. love it. It's I know. Nice. Kind of went with it's uh, almost the granite's almost that same black hue, but it's actually got little flakes of green or what they call verde, mm -hmm. which means green in Spanish verde. if you didn't know that. Verde, yes. It's verde. I buy peacock. salsa verde. There you go. It's it's verde peacock. I had chili verde. Really? Now, for those that wanted to know, the granite upstairs in the kitchen's ubatuba. Ubatuba. Which I just like saying. Huh. Yeah. It's like flakes of gray and stuff. Oh, you're just looking in the in our monitor. Yeah. Seeing the, the backdrop. And of course it's still kind of sparse. It is sparse. Someday it's gonna be filled with bottles. It's gonna bottles. be filled yes. with bottles. Yes. Usually and you know, I've gotten used to not looking at us. Once I start looking at us, I can't help but but look at you. Hmm? I don't know, I'm, I'm, now that I'm looking at the screen, usually oh. I look right at the camera lens. By the way, look it's at this. It's my dashing blue shirt. I don't know, look at Iron Fett. It's nice. like It's like Iron Man, but Fett. Yes. And he looks tough. It's like... It is a good looking shirt. It's got like a, it's touchable. It's got like a texture to it. Now, speaking of touchable, we're going to be doing the Corsair Rhymageddon. Is this our first bottle of Rhymageddon? Um, no, it is not. It's darn near not our second bottles. It, <laughs> I, this, do you remember which one we referenced um, that I oh, thought yeah. we had consumed or already filmed this? He no. comes over to the house, we're getting ready to film. He say, sees the empty bottle and says, hey, we haven't shot that one. I'm like, yeah, we did. And he's like, mm-mm, yeah. Corsair triple smoke. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one we shot. So, and if you haven't seen that one, go see that one. Oh, it's delicious. These are single, uh, it, it's a uh, malted rye and a chocolate rye, this, this Rhymageddon. Holy moly, dude. Now I know I'm, well, hold on. I'm not gonna say anymore because we haven't even nosed it. Needless to say, I bought a second bottle and I told them this needs to go up on a review list. You about drank all of yeah, it. Yeah, it's like, in danger. Dude. Yeah, it's in danger of, of being gone. So it moved up. What are you gonna know? Um, yeah, and you touched on it. We'd done the Corsair oh, God, uh, triple smoke before. You bought the bottle of the Rhymageddon, and you drank it all, and you about drank that one. <laughs> yeah, and here we are. Forty-six ABV. Uh, once again, I'm gonna say it because it's worth worth saying again. It's an American rye whiskey, and it's distilled from malted rye and chocolate rye. Well, you'd started to say this was, or you said the Corsairs are single malt. Yes, but obviously. The, yeah, yeah. The triple smoke is. Yes. But the the court the rhymageddon is not. Tell me, I, I'm telling you, I can smell that chocolate in there. A well, little bit of cocoa. I, I I did not see that before that it mm. was chocolate rye as well, and I don't have mm. uh, anything in my notes about a chocolate. You hear that deep? Mm. I'll try to tell you if I get any now, but mm. I did get an orange marmalade wow. on the nose. Wow, this rhymageddon beckons. It beckons. I'm telling you, I had to hide this because it was like all of a sudden I pulled it out. I was like, I'm going to have some more of that. And I was like, ah, <laughs> Look, it's well, almost gone again. <laughs> what happened? It was like, it was like, maybe my wife is drinking this and I don't know. Yeah, right. That might be happening. Right. I'm blaming it on the wife. Right. Or no, it'd be my wife. My wife's found out there's chocolate malt and had to have it. Oh yeah. I don't know. Sure. Sorry. I do get a sweet, I, got, I noted it as a sweet rye. Um, uh, opposed to um, other rye whiskeys where you get that rye, that dill. I get what you're saying about, about mar marmalade, though. Mm -hmm. I can barely say the word, apparently. <laughs> mar -ma 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 marmalade. Goodness. How do, do you, you have your again? notes? Do you have your notes with you? No, I don't need it. I've consumed two of these. <laughs> That's true. Two of these are gone. I'm like an expert on these, I'm telling you. <laughs> so I've had so much of this. I'm just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> notes. Who needs notes? Mm -hmm. Who needs notes? I've drank consumed two, two bottles. bottles. Two bottles of this have gone down. It's also, I get, man, it's so pleasant on the nose. You can really inhale it. There's no alcohol burn. Even in my notes, there was a subtle, there's a subtleness that I can't get. That's why when you said marmalade, I wonder. Okay, yes, and now, mm, I can tell you there try. is there is it's similar to almost the Akintoshin chocolate flavor. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very similar to it on it. I didn't notice it before. And that's almost more prevalent prevalent than the rye. It's got a touch 
of that rye spiciness right on the palate when you first put it in. And then it goes really, really smooth, like sick. Mm -hmm. Almost, I'd even say, Akintoshin and Dow more. Mm. The chocolate, the toffee flavor. Um, a little yeah, bit of spicy. Toffee, toffee, most definitely. A little peppery mm -hmm. and a little bit of the rye, but... Hmm. It is one of the smoothest ryes I've had. Now, again, the Crown Royal Northern Harvest Rye is a very smooth rye as well, but this is totally different. Different. Absolutely. This is like a rye that's sitting underneath hmm. a little bit. And I'm still trying to get that nose. I get a little bit of woody, a little bit of almost oakiness. And there's a pleasant... What's for, what, was our, what was our alcohol on Smooth it? 46, 46 ABB. Yep. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. I don't what know else? what else to say. I know. I mean, it's just smooth, refreshing with a slight sting to it from mm. that rye. And it's, I think that, uh, I don't know if it's the chocolate malt or whatever, but it really just mellows it. It's a mellow, it, mellow rye whiskey. The, I would say the rye is mellow. Mm -hmm. The whiskey itself is not. Hmm. See, I always, that's kind of when I went to this was when I just wanted something peaceful. For Rye Mageddon, I expected it to blow up in my I know. Mouth. Yeah. I really did. This should be called like, Rye Me to Sleep. <laughs> okay. Because I mean, it's just not, not in a bad way. It's just, it's just pleasing and comforting. Rhyme again when I first had it, I thought, boom, this rye is going to be explosive. How about M and Rhyme? Like mm. an M&M chocolate. Yeah, like an M&M? Okay. I don't know. Rhyme me to sleep, I thought was pretty good. It was, but I was trying to think of something <laughs> quick. I know, that was me quick, too. <laughs> All right, well, there's not too much else to say about it. I just got to tell you, um, I... I mean, you'll you'll back me up on this. I don't go through two bottles of something quick. I really don't. Even when I when I really like it, I usually don't move it to it so quick. This almost became my. I need. I just want a little glass after I came home from work, and all I was just going to this nonstop. All right, you got an 88. I'm I'm saying 89. Corsair is blowing me away. Maybe that's why they call it rhyme again. The triple smoke. Phenomenal, and you know I like the Smokies. This rhyme are getting sweet and peaceful. <laughs> Nothing? Uh, Don't they have another one? They got something else out too that we gotta get a hold of. I haven't seen it, but I saw it somewhere. I think I went online and saw something. Well, they've, else they've, they've got just, a, I think, a small batch mm. or a bourbon. Mm. Unless I've got something else besides that too. I'm gonna have to look. Besides the triple smoke and the rhyme again. I mean, it's almost like it's very only, yeah. It's like the it's, aftertaste hangs on you, and that's it. It's very interesting, good. Yeah. I mean, I I almost feel my first thought was that it's a forty percent, and at first when I first had it, I thought, oh, it's a little. Is it a little watered down? And then I thought, no, that's not it. It's not that it's watered down. It's that it's smooth. Yes. And uh, and then I remember taking a look at the ABV, and I thought, wow, for the nose. Not that 46 super high, hmm. but you're right. I get a, a a sweetness, a toffee. I can see where you're pulling the marmalade. There's something underneath I have not been able to put my finger on, even though I've tried repeatedly <laughs> via two bottles. Put my finger on it. Gotcha. All right, we got anything else to say? Oh, hey, make sure you subscribe. We've been getting mm -hmm. tons of subscribers lately. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, we are going to be in a few weeks from when this comes out, or maybe a week. I'm not sure exactly where it'll sit. We're going to do an Ardbeg shootout. So if you subscribe, that's going to show up right. At, you're going to get a little email notification on it. The For those that haven't seen our shootouts, we take several um, whiskeys that are similar to each other. 
In this case, it's going to be Ardbeg Corey Vecken, Ugadol, and a regular Ardbeg Tenure. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have them blindly and try to figure out which one's which. And when you have these whiskeys that are so similar to each other, so close like that, sometimes they really pop and you can distinguish them. Yes, yeah. that's what I like out of it. Well, and what I'd say is also sometimes you, you're going to go to the store and you see these art bags lined mm -hmm. up and you wonder which one should you buy. Maybe after you watch our video, you'll know. Right. Yeah. So, um, so that'll be coming up. Make sure you subscribe. I can't say it. Subscribe. I haven't even had hardly any. Make sure you subscribe. All right. Thumb us. Thumb us. Uh, that. He likes to get yeah, thumbed. Give us a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> they say thumb on this video. Yeah. And uh, and comment. Please comment. Love those. By the way, did you see, what was Kato Kato's reference? He said it was from a movie or something, didn't he? Did you see that? I saw that come across in his comments. He was responding. That no, Kato, I did. I asked him if his if Kato was from the Pink Panther series. And he responded with it's, something. Uh, he's, uh, it's the political figure, Kato the um, Younger. What is that? I had to look it up. I don't know what it is. I don't either now. Gotcha. You, you, I'm sorry I put you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Cato the Younger. He was a Greek uh, political figure, basically. Oh, Cato. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Salancha. Dummies. Dummies. <laughs>